Oops. Hello, Leo. It's my lady from a Lady's Way Tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of September 26th through October 3rd, 2022. The cards I'm using today are Fairy Little Norman Oracle cards by Marcus Katz and Tally Goodwin. And I'm closing off with my Fendale Sesu Kepper deck by Carol Marchetti. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, okay. So we got card number 28 here. So it looks like somebody is doing a little bit of stalking watching, okay? And I do feel like somebody is trying to watch somebody to have some kind of offer for them, okay? I'm here in jobs, so I do feel like this could be a work person that may have a crush. Um, it might be school as well, okay? Of course, some kind of funding foundation or something like that. But I do feel like it has something to do with um, work. Okay. All right. So we have card number 16 here. So I do feel like somebody been hoping and wishing for this. Okay. And with the six of hearts here, to me, this represents if it didn't happen, it's getting ready to. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm getting the energy that somebody may be single. Um, and I feel like the person is single is being watched um, by a potential um, suitor. I don't know if that's the right name to say right now, but that's the only thing that popped up, okay? So somebody is watching so that they can ask you out, okay? Mm -hmm. But I feel like you've been wanting this. You've been asking for somebody good to come to you, okay? It's a little weird that they're watching you, but they're just trying to make sure you're not ratchet, okay? All right, so we got card number 21 here, and then we got the Eight of Wands. I mean, Eight of uh, Clubs, sorry. Um, so with this Eight of Clubs here, I do feel like somebody's getting ready to send the message, okay? Send the message, send hit, hit, hint, hints. Um, this person may be a friend on uh, Facebook or some kind of um, social, and I do, social place. I do feel like they may be like liking all the stuff or watching all your stuff. Um, so I do feel like you've noticed that this person may be um, looking, but I do feel like um, you didn't like really look at it. Like it was unsure about what the person's motives was. Okay. All right. And then the 21 makes me feel like, I feel like being with this person is, I feel lucky. Okay, I feel like I'm, I'm lucky to find this person, to know this person, okay? So I do feel like this person is a good person. I do feel like I've been through a lot, and this person has also, um, but I also feel like I'm moving forward. Um, I'm ready to move forward, okay, for whatever comes, okay? So nothing is completely um, easy, but I do feel like things are going to be easier in this relationship, okay? All right, so we got card number three here. So I do feel like turning points going on. I do feel like some kind of moving forward and travel. Okay. Uh, but then we got the 10 of swords here. So this 10 of swords, I mean, 10 of spades makes me feel like um, somebody has been betrayed and hurt quite a bit in the past. Okay. Somebody has been asking um, for a better person to come for them. And I do feel like that is what's happening here, okay? That's what's happening here. That's who here is definitely a turning point when it comes to relationships, okay? But I do feel like when somebody is doing something you don't like, it, I'm getting the feeling that you don't let them know right away that you don't really care for that. I, I mean, yeah, you don't let them know. I do feel like that's one thing that you got to start at the beginning. This person wants to make a good relationship wants to make a strong relationship wants to be around so you gotta nip it in the butt nip it in the bud whatever they say okay let them know at the beginning what you don't like okay and i'm hearing maybe want to avoid bringing up past 
past relationship, past events, at, at least in the beginning, okay? At least for the first month. All right, so goodness. So we got card number 14 here. Then we got the nine of wands, okay? So I do feel like somebody is done dealing with sneaky people. Sneaky people, sneaky things, okay? I do feel like somebody is looking for that person to be sneaky. Um, I do feel like, of course, that's going to be an issue um, because if you look for anything, you're going to find something, okay? So I do feel like let it ride because it's going to come to the light if they're doing anything, okay? But by you looking for stuff, it's going to make you feel like you don't want to deal with this person already, okay? A lot of stress. So don't look for it. It'll come to you. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so I do feel like some kind of new start, some kind of rebirth, some kind of offer. So, so I do feel like this person, this relationship is going to be nothing like anything you ever experienced. Okay, I do feel like everything around this situation is going to be new to you. And I do feel like with it being new, I do feel like you just roll with it. Okay, it's going to be some uncertain stuff being said and done. Um, but that's what you want because it looks like somebody has been going through a lot of stuff with not so great people. Um, so a different character is what you're looking for, is what you want. Okay, different type of character. You want to get out that, get out of that old type. That old type is no good. That's why they are not around. Okay, I do feel like this person wants to start a family or come together and get a family or raise a family together, okay? Um, I do feel like this person is definitely a long run kind of person. Oh, yeah, okay, I like that. I'm gonna go look at that in a second. All right, so, of course, with any situation, you got a choice. You can either move forward with this person or you can move on, okay? But what I feel like this card has to do with the uncertainty of this new character and they seem suspicious you know but they just a different type of person and anything different from what you had from the energy that i'm feeling is a good thing okay so of course you can choose to move forward and see what's going on with this or you can move away but with this um i feel like it's a like a page of diamonds i do feel like i feel like a a better quality of life is coming. I do feel like somehow this is going to bring in more money, okay? So this person may know some things that help you move forward or get some different places that you want to go, okay? But I do feel like a lot of fun times is coming. Good times, fun times, all that good stuff. I'm going to read these cards that fill in a second, okay? Yep, so card number 10. So this makes me feel like um, it might be time to clear out the old baggage, this old baggage baggage is definitely going to stop you from um, happiness and good times. So I do feel like, I mean, that's just something you got to do, something you got to figure out, okay? Time to clear out the baggage, clear out the clutter. All right, so let's see. What, oh, wow. Okay, so this looks like the whole Aries reading. So I didn't shuffle the heck out of these cards, but it, it might be an Aries that you're dealing with. Um, but it looks like some kind of new things are coming to you. A lot of excitement and a lot of fun is coming to you. Um, I do feel like this is a changing point in your life, of course. But with this seven of hearts, you got to make a choice on if this is something you would like to do. Um, and then I do feel like weddings, engagements, and moving forward is definitely going to come out of this relationship. Okay, lovely. And I do feel like wishes is coming true. So I do feel like although this person is different and not what you are used, used to being around, I do feel like the things that you're asking for is coming from this person. So I do feel like it might be Aries energy there, but I'm going to pull some dice to see what's going on with that. All right. So it looked like Taurus energy here. And then eight Okay, so with this eight, I do feel like somebody's moving forward with the situations. I do feel like messages are coming through to you, okay? So just get ready for some messages. Let me make sure. I think that's Taurus, okay? But just look forward to that. Those are Aries and Taurus are the main energies there. So let's see what's going on with this. 
Hmm. Bende Sensu Kepper deck, Kiro Marchetti. What's going on with the Leo? What's going on with the Leo? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Leo. 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 All right, so we got the toil and labor. It say definitely feeling like this is a situation where somebody is at work, okay? Um, but I don't know what's the new age now. So this makes me feel like somebody like doing background checks on people, okay? But I understand that because some of the stuff we find out six, seven, two years, ten years later, we be in shock, okay? So somebody's trying to figure that out before time, which is understandable, okay? Like I said, it looks like marriage is coming, okay? So I do feel like this could be you that should be doing a background check, but I do feel like this person already done one on you, okay? But marriage is on the way. All right, so we got the despair here. So I do feel like somebody may have been through a lot of loss, okay? But I do feel like together you can build that, fix that back up, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so, oh, goodness. So we got the great fortune. So look like somebody has lost a lot. Um, this makes me feel like somebody used to be like at the top of, of, of the line of some kind of company. But now I don't know what happened, but I feel like they are just a regular worker. Maybe they started their own little business, but I feel like whoever this person is, they used to be a lot more powerful when it came to money than they are now. Okay, so I do feel like that's definitely something you want to try to look at because to see what happened. Um, it could have been some kind of market fail as well, you know, all kinds of stuff going on with this uh thing that's running around the world finally clearing up. So hopefully, um, this person will be able to rebuild that. Okay, but I do feel like if this person didn't fall down from where they were. Um, they wouldn't have been able to find you. Y'all wouldn't have found each other. So everything happens for a reason. So now it's like the love, money won't be the love of this person's life. You will be, okay? That's the energy that I'm feeling. All right, dang, somebody lost a lot of money. A lot of money. Somebody lost, I swear, it's like somebody was making like, psh, we're gonna say $600,000 a year and now they're down to like maybe... 70 80 but it's like that's still a lot but it's still not where this person was so somebody money has been taken away down to like 25 percent. okay um but this is what i feel here go my little two cent i feel like oh our our destinies the things that we're supposed to do the people we're supposed to be with i feel like if we're not doing that our high, our higher power will help change our direction and i feel like that is here and that's why this person is um being brought down so they can come get you and y'all can go back up together okay but that's just what i feel what i think my little two cents but other than that that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs thanks for watching